Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Erin. Uh, yeah, BTS video. Mm. <laughs> um, it's Erin's turn to spin. So it is. We'll head over to uh, the wheel. Ooh. <gasps> Most recent. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, probably out of pure excitement that I've got those <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I unlock some really good songs. You um, have. The magic category. Yeah. What am I gonna get? Um, okay, so one that we've been holding back in most recent as well is Black Swan. I can see her dancing off screen like she's really excited for it. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Yeah. Oh. Me specifically or Jenny as well? Jenny as well, oh, but nice. you are. Because you're more, um, oh, what does this mean? What does that mean? What, <gasps> what like do you mean? Because I'm shallow and she's so deep. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I know. Okay. Black Swan sorts everyone out. So, um, again, it's... we can talk afterwards and see what you pick up and things like that. Again, as it's always open to interpretation, Black Swan is beautiful because it's, um, it does dive more into their modern dance, which is great. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for it, but I really am. <laughs> she asks actually like, someone who like watches a lot of modern dance and so she's really excited to see. Excuse me, I, really I am the it. proud no, owner nice to of see. a B in dance GCSE. So it's nice to see them doing different things though. <laughs> yeah, like, it is. that's not a real GCSE. Well, yeah. it is. I have an A in bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's something to be proud of. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said B. I should have said a um. Seven, because I'm so young, that's what's the new grading system right is now, it? isn't it? I wouldn't even know. <laughs> well, well, I have five OWLs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I understand your excitement because you, you've said before you're so intrigued to see the different styles and, again, the different genres that they go into. And I think that's really brave of them as artists as well because it's very easy, I think, for people to find their comfort zone, what they're good at, and stick yeah. in that, especially if their fans love it. But BTS do take risks, which I think is really cool. And that's why... I think it inspires their fan base to not be afraid to open your mind, read something, pick up a new book or learn a new language or try something you've never tried before. So I think it's really inspiring. Um, the story behind the song of Black Swan is, it was inspired by, I don't know actually, who wrote this song, please fact check, Barry? Uh, a number of people. Uh, P-Dog, RM, August Rigo, Vince Nantes and Clyde Kelly. Well, thank you to all of those people. Um, I can definitely see why, obviously, from big hits, producers and RM, what their influence was in it. It was inspired by a quote by a, a late a dancer who's passed away, no longer with us, and he says that a dancer experiences two deaths in life, and it's one is when they lose their passion for doing what they love, and then another one is the physical death. Uh, death. Um, or if they lose their passion, or if they are not able to do it anymore through injury or something like that. But being oh, not that. being able to do yeah. your art is a form of death for a, for an yeah, artist. Yeah, I was just going to say, you said that for any artist, not just Yeah, and then when you physically die, that's the second death. So this um, this song is, is inspired by that, and it's basically BTS singing about their fear of losing either their purpose or losing the fun and the inspiration that they have with it. Um, um, yeah, that they just they just hope that never happens, and and it's it's kind of sad, but it's it, again it's one of those hauntingly sad ones, but it's uh, it's beautiful. And the irony for me is that in in and of itself, they're saying we're worried about if if a day comes when we lose our inspiration, and yet the way they've chosen to deliver this message is in a completely new genre for them, which actually is completely showing that that will not yeah. happen, or it certainly hasn't happened now because they're delivering it in this amazing new genre we've never yeah. seen from them. So I think it's quite ironic, really, that I'm just like, don't worry, boys, you're good. You're good. <laughs> when you say Black Swan, I would mm. think of the film. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's probably not the kind of film they might have had over there, because it's a bit... Well, Black Swan is obviously a ballet, and that can be oh. a ballet can be without language. So it, again, it can be interpreted as art, into, and it's just about the story. Has Jimmy never done any ballet? Because out of all of them, I look at him and think he he could. He uh, did, yeah. He was trained in modern dance before he joined Big Hit. And there's videos out there of him dancing before he joined Big Hit. Um, and he had to do modern dance and ballet and everything and be trained in it all. So he's very, very good. I was very good at ballet as a child. I was the star of my shows. I was always the lead. 
And I gave it up because I didn't like doing shows and having everyone watch me. Oh. Oh, I love the doing irony. Like, <laughs> I love doing like shows and competing. But yeah, so Black Swan. And they do, that. I'll show the girls afterwards, there's lots of, they did a photo shoot for, a concept photo shoot for this one. Um, we'll talk about it afterwards because I don't want to reveal too much. We'll talk about it afterwards because the costumes and everything like that and the movement is all part of it. So we'll talk afterwards. Okay. Mm. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and head over to Patreon where we're two videos ahead and we've got all the extra stuff on there. Just go and have a look, see what you think. Oh. I will say one thing on this, we're watching the MV of Black Swan, but there is also a live performance that they did where you get to see the full choreography, which is beautiful. So we will definitely watch that at some point as well. Mm. It's really, well, it's really worth seeing because that's when you really get to... Because obviously this is um, in the MV, you've got shots of dancing, but then you've also got shots of them performing to the camera and things like that. Uh, but when you get to see the, the, the stage live performance, you really get to see the choreography and the modern dance performed by all seven members. And I oh, was wow. so impressed to s just to see all... I even R.M. and Jin, yeah. literally. And that's why I was literally like, R.M. and Jin... No, no, no. You cannot call yourselves the weakest dancers anymore because they are so good. Just like, literally, all of them. Just seamless. Yeah. Right. Don't make me promises that you're going to take months and months and months to keep. It's not me. It's the wheel. It's the yeah. wheel. I can't control the wheel. So you're telling me if I live spin performance. live performance next, you're going to... Mm. And you can say. You can say I want Black Smile live performance. Mm. Mm. I don't trust you. And as channel owner, I can say no. <laughs> <laughs> We will have the chitta. I have no... <laughs> Always. <laughs> what category does it put into? De <laughs> chitta. Theatre in Korea? I don't know, actually. Mm -hmm. He's really tall. Mm. to watch a man dance like that. Mm.
I can swallow now. There was literally a bit when I was so engrossed. You know when you feel like you can't yeah. swallow because it would just be, yeah. It felt so really short. Mm. It went so quickly. It does go quickly when you're, yeah, you're yeah. so in it. Oh, I didn't think any of the singing again. Um, guys, I'm not doing very good with... It's fine. I Once only... we unlock these, you can you have free reign to watch them again. So. No, I really enjoyed the song. I like mm. how it flowed along nicely. Mm. Um, I only picked out the lyrics at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So it's like I can't ocean. remember what it was. You know, no, JK was saying about... Do your thing. Do your thing. Or Please something like that. Don't it? let me down. Yeah. Do I hear that? Do I make that up? I don't know what happened. Maybe. I can't. It feels beautiful. Mm. But th- that ending, mm. where just the shadow disappears and then you walk away, that's like your dreams just died and you just got to... Leaving the past leave behind it, you. Walk away from it. Well, again, it's, it's all open to interpretation, so there is no right or wrong. Um, they did Black Swan, obviously, as part of Map of the Soul 7, and that is when they're also delving into Carl Jung's uh, philosophy of um, the persona, the self, and the shadow. And the shadow is parts of yourself that you don't like and that you want to hide in darkness because you don't like them about yourself. But if you constantly hide your shadow and never face it, you will never be... You'll be a disjointed person. You'll never be fully whole. So, so you, have to, ex- you have to accept your, in, your shadow yeah. in order... Because everyone has a shadow part of themselves. It's, it's just standard. But we fight with it. So it could be that. It could be, like you said, the loss of the dream or something. You just There is no right or wrong. It's just good to throw it all in there just so you've I got options the, to think about. Shadow dancing was mm. just... A, a, the black Cinematography. Oh, the, the oh, set. Amazing. I mean, the place was beautiful. Yeah. If you know where that was filmed, please put it in the comments. The place mm. would be lovely. Or if Catherine could find it for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought it was really interesting. Like you said, you, you really enjoyed seeing a man dance like that. And I think that's also a really good point because the guys, yes, in that and in the photo shoots that they do with it, they're, they're in corsets and they have these big black wings and they're beautiful. And... Again, it's BTS making breaking down glass ceilings and breaking barriers about gender stereotypes and things like yeah. that. So I think that's great. Reminded me of like the Harry Styles shoot he did where he's in that corseted dress. Mm, yeah. And I, I love it. Yeah, where... they have actually done photo shoots where they're in skirts as well. Yeah, I think it's it's just amazing. I really feel like they just said to him, this is your thing. Mm. Like, you know, if it's about this, like dance, balance. Yeah, this is your Jim thing. and choreographed yeah, all of his stuff. Just just it, I feel like it was like a gift of love like just mm. do, do your thing Aww. love it where was it from? the Los Angeles Theatre I didn't mm. think it was going to be very nice South Korea they used the different parts of the theatre so well like yeah at the beginning when they're on the stage and then just different parts of these big archways are lit up so you can't see the whole room but you can just see parts of it and it's yeah, it's haunting. It could, it, like. it could have been creepy if you, you know from a different interpretation. Yeah. It could have been creepy, yeah. but actually, I I took it as quite. Yeah, theatres are usually quite old and slightly haunted and things like that. Beautiful. But it, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, I always wait till I'm on the train home from the theatre to Google the theatre ghosts. Oh yeah, so that I don't get scared when I'm when I'm in there. But <laughs> yeah. it made me really miss theatre mm. and just like ballet and opera and all of that. And that's it. It's all performing and, and it's, stuff and. Oh, so it sits so much in line with what they're talking about about the fear of of their their first death as an artist and and the fact yeah. that they filmed it in a theater that must actually be really awful to to know because as much as we'd love them to go on forever at some point mm-hmm. there's going to be either a natural or a forced end mm. as is with the majority mm. of artists and you know. They have I know, spoken I know that, about I it. I know that death is the only certainty in life, but mm. yeah, having death and taxes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really. No, I think but knowing that that you're starting on this journey, but the further you get in, mm. the closer you are. To they the they have spoken about that, mm. and um, J Hope said that if they end and they end where they're supposed to end and on a good note and whatnot because it's it's just that they're the sun has set on their journey because it's it, that's just how it's meant to be then he's totally fine with that i think it'll be when they at a point where they decide they want to have a relationship and a family maybe oh, because maybe sadly maybe you can't put that off forever no if that's something you want yeah, then no, yeah, yeah. yeah. longer yeah. <laughs> but then i don't i think they would still be in music as writers at least oh so I, I, I think hope, so I hope they're, they're too creative to switch like, that off no i I mean, if they don't stay with the kids, like just yeah, working with mm. new idols and mm. or like 
being teaching mentors. Teaching a new generation about, mm-hmm. oh, they've, they have Working at the UN, it. you know, the, yeah. these things mm-hmm. that oh, they obviously going to become a side President of, of yeah. the world. You never know, but he might. <laughs> a strange thing. Got happen. my vote. <laughs> he can come here. We will vote for him here. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, so it's uh, it's so open to interpretation. There is no right or wrong. Um, but that's again another one of those songs, a bit like Fake Love, where it's it's kind of sad, but it's kind of beautiful as well. Yeah. And I wonder if this will feel a bit different once we've seen the rest of like the map of the soul mm-hmm. once, because then we'll understand more about the shadow. And maybe there'll be bits within that that we will attribute to this song and. Vice versa, we can link. Yeah, yeah, and that's why in Map of the Soul, and like I said, them exploring that um, philosophy by Carl Jung is um, Sugar's single is called Shadow, which you haven't watched yet, and uh, J Hope's is Ego, um, and that's why RM's was Persona, and that's Persona. Who the hell am I? And he's asking yeah. all those questions because, yeah. and then you see all the different carbon copies and the robots of him. Um, so yeah, that's that's all tied in with exploring that and the uh, fears and different different ideas about ourselves and what we think of ourselves and facing the world and things like that and and massively massively vulnerability that was a really big feeling yeah. for me through that whole album was vulnerability because to ask those questions of yourself not only in private but in public through through your art yeah. is is very brave so i think it's a, a thing that's kind of very much with artists like this and sports people mm. that one thing one small thing a small injury can ruin everything mm. yeah yeah, and you see, you've um, you've seen like uh, we will get to see um, like J Hope when he does his his little dance practices and stuff when he's just mucking about in the big hit studios and that and Jimin as well and they are when they're practicing for choreos and things like that they're so so strict on warming up and everything yeah. so and of course they're they're surrounded by really lovely big hit staff so hopefully that will never happen for them oh, yeah. but yeah just never know and I it, suppose that's a risk that comes though. with it isn't it it's a risk that comes with the, yeah. the territory well I've said to you I was at I was at football and two players went up for a header. One of them ended up with a fractured skull. He hasn't played since. I mean, he's fine, but can't play anymore. No, too, you know, too it's risky. Just something you you always do and game over. Mm. Mm. But luckily, all the boys are well right now and yeah. recovering from shoulder surgery. He's fine. So wrap up well, boys. Bye. Yes, it was good. Stay safe. <laughs> yes. I really would like to see the um, photo shoot mm. they did for that because they, they look like royalty. Oh my god, they look so mm. regal. Mood, yeah, moody and regal and. V, but you, you nearly fainted. Oh, me, yeah. yeah. I guess I didn't. Wasn't it? <laughs> I knew that shot was coming, and when he looks down into the camera, oh my gosh, and, and he's so white, intense. Like, and I think I'm quite into the white hair because John one. Um, what did we watch? Was it Mike dropping who? And it was Aaron with yeah, the red wet look hair. And I was like, oh my god! So I think they're sneaking up on me. Like I wonder if they carry a little spray bottle. Like, See, Ooh. we like the rain. Yeah, <laughs> it's because we're so thirsty. We need to <laughs> dehydrate. Dehydrate. Right, so that was BTS Black Swan. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>